Lama lama lama. Chicken chicken chicken. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. It's the middle of the night. And we're out here by the witch farm, and something occurred to me. We have a potential problem brewing. Um, I like I like the witch farm area here. It's kind of a nice, I've got my little tree growing area, I've got my little massive smelter, I've got, I've got a horsey stable. Um, lots of little spots out here. Oh, look, a sapling. Hmm, jungle sapling. So, put that away. Nice. Yeah, so this is, um, in there. So I've got, actually, I don't know what I'm doing here. Do I? No, I do not. 1.13 is about to come out. Uh, they released a pre-release version of it, and they were saying all oh, could be it if we don't find any showstopper bugs. And that's all fun and dandy. I'm a little concerned because they seem to be skipping the whole optimization step, which is a little disconcerting because it does not run particularly well on my computer. Um, and it runs, it, it sort of drives the CPU pretty crazy and uh, it's not uh, not great but one issue one issue is that in 1.13 they have these uh, phantom thingies that fly around and cause all kinds of havoc and they will show up if you have not slept in a while and notice one thing I don't have up here I don't have a bed anywhere that's uh, that's not so great, and they're they're pretty they're pretty nasty, so so I'm going to build I want to build a house, so I've got oak okay go 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 okay good um so I'm going to build I think I'm going to turn this platform here into like a little house because if I've got a thing like this, then uh, little phantoms can't bother me I can just be over here and I can build build another like dome like structure like that. And it will, um, to put a door in it, this one I didn't put a door in because I don't think I can put a door on that block, but I'll put a different block down there if I have to. And then, uh, yeah, put up, put up things here so I can actually see outside. And then I could always put up a pedestal or put a second floor and put a bed up there. So not the most exciting thing in the world to work on, but that's what we're going to do. So... Dark oak, I believe, is what I chose for the bottom layer here. I don't have to completely mimic this, but yeah, dark oak, and then these are jungle planks. So I, I did a bunch of tree farming, and we will do this. I also need a place where I can put down some uh, storage so I can collect some of the stuff that I've been gathering up here. Like, for instance, there's a bunch of sticks. I don't need this many sticks, but there are a bunch of sticks. I need a place to put them. And then I got a bunch of sugar. And I got a bunch of gunpowder. And so the glowstone here, this can be compacted some. But it's still going to take up a bunch of things. And redstone also can be compacted. So I want to build a little space over there that's kind of my little my away place where my where I live when I'm out here at the, the witch farm where my storage is I can put up some I don't know, sorting system some some general storage so this here was three blocks away and then it comes out to here so anyway that's uh that's what I'm going to be doing right here um because 1.13 could be coming out pretty shortly and it'll be a little bit of a pain if I'm not able to update the server fairly quickly to the new version. Uh, people will get a little 
frustrated with having to switch to an older version of the game in order to log into the server. And the new features are pretty cool, so I would like to be able to to take advantage of it. Um, okay, let me find the center piece here. I could have put that right on the center, and that would have been helpful, wouldn't it? So this goes one uh, plop. Is that right? Yeah, close enough. So how are you? I'm doing all right. I have four. Blah, blah, blah. Two, two. Yeah, I think that's right. Two. Awesome. And then, then these just go on a diagonal. I think like this. Oops, not that one. There we go. And let's get my pop. Thank you. Very good. Um, yeah. So I'm recording this on. This is a slightly unusual timing for me. I'm recording this on a Sunday night. Four, five, one, two, three, four. Nice. Uh, and I am doing this as um, I'm kind of out of out of footage, so I'm doing this kind of on an emergency basis. I might normally want to take a little extra time to uh, come up with what I'm doing. I'm doing it because I need to get something to for a video to release tomorrow. And I haven't had a chance to record other than this primarily because uh, I've been I've been a little busy. The last uh, week I've been traveling and I was down in San Diego this weekend and the last weekend I went to Boston. Um, and I went to Boston to see concert by uh, Matt Farley of Moturn Media who if you don't if you don't know who that is I will put a link to the official Moturn Media playlist in in the show comments in the in the in the comments in the yeah whatever down below you can go look uh, Matt Farley is a guy who has made a bunch of songs in fact he's written something like 19,000 songs and uh, he wrote a song about me so yeah he writes he writes a lot of songs and he puts them up on Spotify and that's kind of his, his primary place for uh, for uh, releasing music but he puts it up there and sort of figures everybody in the world will go to Spotify and um, his whole goal is to write a song on basically every possible topic that somebody could potentially search for on Spotify and if he figures if he does that and every time somebody goes and searches on a song and they see his and they go play it then he will uh, he earns like a two tenths of a penny or something kind of silly like that and he has a playlist of like 300 songs that takes about nine hours to play all the way through and every every year on his birthday he declares it to be world motern media day and uh and his request instead of sending him a birthday present is to listen to the motor media playlist and each time somebody listens to all of it here and it's about a dollar so it seems like kind of a hard way of earning a living if you ask me but uh he's making it work and and a lot of the songs are are you know like he writes oh here's an here's a song about office supplies because people might be searching on paper clips and things like that um but a lot of the songs are really good oh, there we go there we go. And then I had slabs over there on top of that. So I need to, oops, let's get my torches. Let's go torch this so that I don't get any beasties spawning while I'm working. But, uh, so yeah, I did that. And then while I was in Boston, I also went to go see the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, which is very nice. And, uh, yeah, so that was, uh, three, 
Dark oak slabs. All right, I need a crafting table. A ton of wood in my pocket, but I have a crafting table over here too, so. Let's go, let's go make use of it. So anyway, that is, uh, that's what kind of what I've been up to. And, wow. So I still need, I still need a couple things. Oh, I can't. Do I have, yeah, let's just grab that and make another crafting table out of miscellaneous piece of spruce wood. That was weird. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So I, I still need, I mean, kind of the whole purpose of building this place other than having a better source of redstone than just mining. Uh, kind of part of the purpose was to have a, um, a potion brewing uh, area, something that I could, uh, dark oak, oh, dope. Um, how many slabs do I really need? That should be plenty, right? Okay. Oh, and I need to weigh up on back up on top of my wall. Very good. So what was I talking about? I don't know. I'm confused. Dark oak wood, we got planks. Why do I have all these jungle planks? Oh, because I made those. So we use our jungle planks as our scaffolding material. Here we go. Nice, still midday. Didn't really need the torches, did I? Cause I'll be able to get the slabbed before the sun goes down. Um, Isabel Stewart Gardner Museum was, was a very cool. It's a museum I've been reading and reading about and listening to podcasts about it was the site of a very large um art heist and the largest uh property theft in american history <laughs> they stole uh just over a dozen paintings that were worth over over half a billion dollars which is pretty crazy and because the the way they there's although the theft happened in 1990 so it was a while ago they're so hopeful that, that they're going to get them back they have never been recovered but that is their hope and uh because the 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 woman who started the the museum speculate stipulated in her will that no pieces be uh, sold or, or changed. So they had a, um, they kind of, the, and the paintings were cut out of their frames. So they have, they've hung the empty frames back up on the, on the walls. So as you're wandering through the museum, what looking at really some fantastic, fantastic collection of art, you come across occasionally a boop, um, a section of wall and there's just an empty frame hanging there and that's because they uh they they a want to get the, the paintings back and b are thinking that they're keeping in the spirit of isabella stewart gardner who had a rather interesting approach to <clears throat> to arranging all the pieces inside the museum there's a uh, she built on the Fenway in Chicago, not Chicago, on the Fenway in Boston. Um, she she built a giant, um, sorry. Let's go do this while we're talking. Um, she built a Italian villa sort of building. And then inside it, inside each, each of the rooms, of the lower three floors just arranged artwork and there isn't necessarily a uh, connection or an obvious sort of oh, 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 oh that was dumb 
should have looked more carefully. Um, <clears throat> ow. There was not an obvious sort of organization of the pieces necessarily. It was just kind of, it made sense to her. And when you kind of go through it, it, it all kind of works. And you sort of, you get to learn things about the paintings if you, if you pay attention to and try to and think about why is all the stuff arranged the way it's arranged. Um, let's do this. There we go. Don't necessarily need more glass at the moment, but I'm going to make some because I need to build another one of those. So, uh, so anyway, it, it's a fascinating museum, and uh, I'm glad I'm glad I went. I took a, a few, couple days off work to go through the whole, you know, to go to the go to the show, and uh, after the show. Is this right? Um, after the show, on the following day, a bunch of the people who came to the show and Matt uh, went bowling, which was kind of, which was cool. And um, <clears throat> and then uh, there was there was a basketball match, and so there's there was a variety of activities. But it was uh, it was a nice little weekend, and got to see a five and a half hour uh, five and a half hour concert with a bunch of people who like the music the way I do. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, all right. Well, let me get this uh, smelt. I need to. I will be collecting some more. Here comes the. The glass. Um, be collecting some more cocoa beans. In fact, let me get my fortune axe and go ahead and do that. So let me get that stuff all taken care of, and I'll be back. Will that do it? One, two, three, four. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, that'll work. All right. <clears throat> we are basically done here, at least with the outer shell. But it'll give me nighttime shelter. Um, yeah, so I built this up the same height as that over there. I could build it higher, I suppose, but don't know why. And I honestly am not entirely sure why I chose to put slabs up at the top other than to give it a wood sort of trim at the top I think that's I think that's the reason why there's my ladder Ooh. but we're done so let's take a step back and check it out there we go all right so we need to put on some I need to put on some oops sorry about that uh, some signage Need to make some signs. I don't think I have any over here. Oh, the rain cleared up. Thank you. And I put these on here just so I could climb up, pop, and pop. Thank you. Ladders. So yeah. So here's my new uh, inside place. I'll just inspect everything. Make sure it all looks right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Pretty sure that that is the same on the inside as this, this one over here. Not that it matters too much if they're not, but. Yeah, totally. Cool. Okay. Well, this is my new, new uh, uh, phantom, phantom crash pad. Whatever. We need to figure out a way to mine those things. I haven't seen any super awesome phantom farms yet, but I'm sure, I'm sure people have figured them out. I just haven't seen them. And I guess I could come up here and and hang out when it gets dark, and when they come out just stand up here and fight them but uh, it might be better to do it in a place where I have access to shelter or it might work to build Enderman style shelters to uh, to protect against the the phantoms but here we go very cool um, I may swap out some of this floor design it was based on the one over there above the witch farm itself 
uh, the oh I didn't even put the square in here interesting I kind of makes sense um, the square the yellow square in the middle of the platform which I have put on all these other platforms actually covers it was it was there as a marker for this is the way uh, this is where the witch farm boundaries itself are the boundaries of the witch farm itself are uh, so I can stand up here and and do that and now that since there's no one on the server meow except for my my pets um, I can stand up here and run the witch farm this I think will protect me from the phantoms so I probably didn't need to do that whole thing over there but I, I wanted to build a little house so I'll, I'll come up and I'll, I'll figure out a way of putting a door on there I will probably have to swap out this uh, block of glass with a solid block so that I can put a door on there and uh, yeah cool anyway that's it there's my little uh, phantom shelter my little home away from home need to build a few things here put in some storage uh, put in some uh, probably start my potion brewing set up in here but I will want to take one of these other platforms like I'm thinking maybe that one there and turn that and put it like a potion brewing machine on there and that will be where the bulk potion brewing happens since that's one of the primary reasons why I put uh, I started built this whole thing up here okay I don't have trees here I'm gonna go plant some trees I may go do some fishing and it looks like the carrots are ready to harvest so I've got a few grindy things to do and I will do those off camera I will not bore you with them but I think I will plant more spruce trees here just so I can get um, oh wait 31 I need like 36 to plant all of it right yeah whatever I'll have leftovers that's fine cool so I'm going to go ahead and plant these and uh, figure out what else I need up here I need a nether wart farm I mean I've got I've got a big nether wart farming area under my base and I may just use that at least for the time being but no reason I shouldn't take maybe that platform there and just cover it with soul sand and plant another ward out there I don't know got things to figure out but we got all the space in the world that I can build more platforms so there we go that's it there's my new home thank you for watching this is Theron it's been Minecraft Land Party and I will see you next time all right Bye.